Hello guys, this is the LEGO Detective, and finally, I have the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master of Pendulum Structure Deck. So I actually got two of these, because I am going to be doing a, uh, um, I'm going to be making my own Magician Allies deck, so I got two, and then I got some other cards, which I got from my brother, um, that I'm going to be using, but yeah, let's get started. Um, so we got Allies Meteor Burst Dragon, and Allies, um, Absolute Dragon, which is a Synchro and Xyz monster. We have Yuya on the front, Master of Pendulum Structure Deck. And on the back, it has a list of the cards. But, yeah, let's just skip that and actually just open this deck. Oh, God. I can't even get it open. Let's, uh... Here we go. Let's get the bottom of it open. Here we go. So, let's see what we get. So, here we have this. It's gonna set the box in the corner. In the back, I should say. So, we have this. Um, beginner's Guide. And here is, we actually get a playmat with this. So let's just unfold this. There we go. Let's just stick that in the background. Oh, whoopsies. There we go. Can you see that? It's like, since I just opened it, of course, it's... Oh, whoops. There's still a more page to it. Here we go. Um. Okay. So, yeah. That's a pretty nice... That actually looks really good in the background, but yeah, here we have the cards themselves. So here we have it, just some plastic. Let's get the beginner's guide in the back. So here we go. Here we go. Found it. See? Oops. I can't get this open. Much, this is much harder to open than that Yu-Gi-Oh! Listener deck. I don't know what's, maybe it's just me. Oh, oh darn. I just bent it. I just bent the Odd Eyes, the Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon. Here, so here we go. So our first ultra rare is our synchro monster of the set, Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon. That looks really amazing. And just classic uh, one tuner, uh, one or more non tuner monsters. So yeah, he's really easy to synchro summon because he is a level seven and you get a level three tuner in the set. So yeah, ultra rare. Here's our second ultra rare, Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. Really digging how it's kind of like the blue version of Meteor Burst, like we have. A sort of fire, like we have fire and water even, so it, I really like how they all, they each have like those four sort of spikes coming off of the sides, and you can see, so it, they really do look good with each other, so yeah, Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, now we have our super rares, and I really darn messed up that Odd Eyes Absolute, I really bent that bad, ugh, that's too bad, um, but yeah, we have Noble Dragon Magician, which is a tuner, so I always use this for some synchro summoning. Absolute there. So here we have that. No, next one is a really great card, Oath Dragon Magician. I'm actually just gonna. Let's just move these over here. And his a um, his effect is the pendulum is really good. If you have a magician card in your other pendulum zone, you can add one face up magician or odd eyes card. Pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand, except for Oath Dragon Magician. You can only use this once per turn. So this is really good, and I'm gonna show you what I can, what you can do with it with one of the other cards. But uh, so I'll just show you that. So then we have Wisdom Eye Magician. Oh, and so here's Dragon Pulse Magician and Dragon Pit Magician, and I'm gonna show you what these can do with Oath Dragon. So if you have Oath Dragon one of your scales and Dragon Pit Magician, so his effect is once per turn. If you have a Magician card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can discard a Pendulum monster, then target a spell or trap on the field and destroy it. Dragon Pulse is the same thing, except you can target a monster on the field and destroy it. So if you have Dragon Pit Magician and then Oath Dragon Magician, so you can use Oath Dragon Magician. Let's just say that this is your extra deck. Um, so you can use Oath Dragon Magician's effect to take this Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your hand, since it's probably been destroyed, so it goes to your extra deck. And then use Dragon Pit Magician. You can discard it, putting it back in your extra deck, destroy any spell or trap. Next turn, Oath Dragon, take it. Dragon Pit, discard, destroy a spell or trap. And that just can happen simultaneously. So it's like a never-ending loop, which I think that that is really cool. So, uh, Dragon Pit and Dragon Pulse are definitely really great. Now, here is probably the second most broken card in the deck. Performable Skullcrabat Joker. Let's just zoom in there. Well, the, the Pendulum effect isn't that good, but the normal effect is amazing. When this card is normal summoned, you can add a... Performable monster, magician. Oh, performable monster, magician, pendulum monster, 
or oddized monster from your deck to your hand, except for a performable Skulker Bad Joker. And that's normal summoned. So you could use with Oaf Dragon if you summon him. Um, you summon him. He's level 4, by the way. He's got a pretty good attack. Not so good defense, though. But you can take, uh, you can summon him. Um, and if he's destroyed, you can take Oath Dragon's effect, take him to your hand, and since he's level 4, you can just summon him back. And then since he's normal summoned, you can take another, it's just amazing. So this is definitely a really great card. Now we have Stargazer Magician, Time Gazer Magician, and now we have the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, which is a really amazing monster. Uh, if this card battles an opponent's monster by battle... Oh, if this card battles just an opponent's monster, any battle damage this card inflicts to your opponent is doubled. So, if you bat battle, like, uh, Kribo, then you would do 2,200 attack, um, normally, if this was a normal monster with 2,500 attack, you would do, like, uh, um, 2,200 damage, but you could do 4,400 damage with this if you're lucky enough to battle a low-level monster. Next, we have another Pendulum Monster, Performable Silver Claw. And now we're done with pendulums. We have Performable Salute Tiger. Perform oh, here's a pendulum. Performable Trump Witch. Metaphys Arm Dragon. Chaos Hunter. Fusilla Dragon. The Dual Mode Beast. Lila, Light Sworn Sor Sorceress. Fenthic Fire Ferret is one that my brother really likes. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, target one face up monster your opponent controls. Destroy that target. And if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. So that's just really good. Inari Fire. Nefarious Arch Fiend. Eater of Nefariousness. Gigabyte. Goblinburg. They're just a really random, a lot of random cards in here. X Saber Airbellum, which is another tuner. Magna Drago is also another tuner. Recover. Sky Iris. Pendulum Skull Call is definitely another really great one. Um, discard one card and add two Magician Pendulum Monsters with different names from your deck to your hand. Also, until the end of your opponent's next turn after this card resolves, magician card, <laughs> magician cards in your pendulum zones cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can only uh, activate one pendulum call per turn. <laughs> you cannot activate this card if you already activate, activated a magician monster pendulum's effect this turn. So normally if I draw this, I'll like, before I summon any monsters, I'll literally just play this. And, like if I get this first hand, because my brother had this deck, so, um, I play with it sometimes, and, of course, until now, because I just got this, but I will, if I get this first turn, I'll play it, I'll take two Pendulum Monsters, normally Oath Dragon Magician and Dragon Pit Magician, I'll set the scales, and then I'll just summon tons of monsters, and it's just a really amazing card. I'm actually just gonna move these. Here we go. Next we have, oh, whoops, this is backwards. <laughs> Here we go. Pendulum Shift. Pendulum Rising, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, that's a good card. Summoner's Art is also pretty good. Mystical Space Siphon is nice. Scape Coat, it's kind of random. Forbidden Dress is nice. Polymerization, because we have a fusion monster. Terraforming, Pendulum Back, Power Free Rebirth, Trap Chicks, Trap Hole Nightmare, which is a pretty good card. Just... There we go. Torrential Tribute, Eradicator Epidemic Virus, and Rune Eyes Pendulum Dragon is our fusion. And... He is pretty darn easy to fuse because, and he is amazing. He is pretty, it's almost as good as Blue Eyes. Because, of course, Blue Eyes is a normal monster, so you don't have to fuse. But he's a fusion of Autos Pendulum Dragon and any Spellcaster monster. <laughs> I thought it was a Magician Pendulum monster, but no, it was just any Spellcaster monster. If this card was fusion summoned, the power... Let's just skip this. Um, Here. Apply the appropriate, uh, this is the good part, um, apply the appropriate effect depending on the original level of the monster used as fusion material that was not Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. If it was level 4 or lower, this card can make up to 2 attacks on monsters during each battle phase. Level 5 or higher, this can this card can make up to 3 attacks during monsters during each battle phase. And he's got 380k, 2000 defense. Normally sometimes... <laughs> My brother has this card, Shattered Axe. He'll activate it, so then I just switch him to defense mode, and I just... I'm so stupid, I switch him to defense mode, 2,000 defense, he just wipes me out with one of his random monsters. But, um... So yeah, it's definitely a really great deck for people that want to do Pendulum Summoning. Um, we have these amazing two broken cards, an amazing Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, our Fusion, our Synchro, our Xyz our 
Secrets, our um, Wisdom Eye, Oath Dragon, Noble Dragon. We have Dragon Pulse and Dragon Pit, which are pretty good cards. And then we, of course, have the big play mat. And on the back of that, there's just, like, other different, like, advertised for other different sets. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! sets that are out, like, right now. Um, but, yeah, I hope you like this um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master of Pendulum starter deck um, opening. And, yeah, bye!